Movement number four. Dragon seeks path. Dragon whips his tail. Yo, my man, why you got on that purse, huh? Hey, this ain't no f***ing purse. I'm the big dills. Don't do that. I'm not out of Patron in a bit at you, heard? Get your money up, not your funny up. Grr, bragado. It's the Mumfu Podcast, Money Up, No Funny Up Podcast. We out here, a whole lot of gang activity podcast, you know what I mean? We, we, we litty litty gangington. You know? am, I, am I straight? Yeah. Murder gang, man, man, we out here, homicide, you know I mean? All of that. All of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. What are we talking about, sir? What are we talking about, sir? Yo, so my man, 50 grand, 50 bands, 50 zan, Nick Cannon. I don't know why I said that. But f- apparently Nick Cannon is out here not just, uh, what's it called, content with going at Eminem. He's trying to go at 50, uh, Bentley, uh, M. Can I got another fresh out of slums? He's trying to go at this dude, um, and they've been going back and forth with a series of tweets and Instagram posts and pictures and uh, such. Now, I'll run it down for the people who don't know what's going on. When it first started, because it, it, uh, this started when the battle did, because when it first initially started, uh, 50 put out that post where he said, for the love of me, I can't understand why people be trying to go at M and never works out. Da 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 I just down the third. Which, no matter how you feel about M and M, that's hundred percent true. Hundred mm-hmm. percent true. Like it never seems to Move work out in favor. Bit. Which way? Other way. That way. The way you just went. Yeah. It never seems to work in the favor of the person as much. So he's just saying that, and this is during the thing. Then uh, Nick Cannon tweeted out that picture of uh, Samuel L. Jackson and Django, the, the house n- niggeride, um, which to me was hilarious. I'm not even going to hold it. Definitely, it was, definitely was funny. But um, now, I would never call 50 that one because, I mean, how dare I disrespect my generation like that? And two, um, I understand why Fifty's like that, but what did you think so far of everything I've said up to this point? Like there will be back and forth. Honestly, nigga, I thought it's funny. Um, I think that I don't know. I mean, it's obviously straight trolling. I feel like you know, it Nick Cannon at this point having fun. You know what I'm saying? And I think he has been this whole time. And I think Fifty is doing what he always does with his internet side of trolling because he put that picture uh, of uh, Nick Cannon in that, like, girl's top or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that, I mean, he just, 50 just... We know his trolling capabilities, you know what I mean? So I feel like <coughs> it's just been entertainment, honestly. I don't feel like, you know, anything's going <laughs> to... Excuse me. I think what that. happened was with this... My bad for cutting you off, but... I feel what happened was... Um, Nick Cannon's strategy of going at M is one that M is it battling back it with the same strategy. Right. But the person that would battle him back troll for troll is 50. It's 50. But I feel 50 like 50 is a, a a level in which he would actually go to Wild now if it wasn't on some like personal ish. You know what I mean? Like I feel like he wouldn't do that necessarily if like M and had like a super problem with him. I think his loyalty obviously yeah. lies with M, but I'm saying 50 is the type of nigga that would go to Wild and Out. You know what I mean? I well, just I see think, him doing that. I think more than anything, I, 50 has, I mean, uh, Nick has met his troll match. Yeah. Because they both do the same exact thing where when they have something to push, they troll. Or that's at least the strategy. Basically, Nick is using the strategy that 50 Cent invented to try to promote right now. Right. And um, I think he's barking up the right tree. But that's not even where it ends because Nick Cannon tweeted yesterday. Hold on, let me pull it up. On Instagram, another picture of um, that Django stuff. Now, not only... 
not only did um what did I say? My bad, I forgot. The Django stuff. Oh, oh, not only that, but Nick Cannon has also came out and said that he thinks he'd be Eminem because of the lack of a response from the two, which, what do you feel about that? That's, no. I don't, that's not how that works, because if that's the case, then you telling me every small person that says something, I mean, not that Nick Cannon is small, but as far as music goes, I mean, I guess I could say he is, but... It's like, just because you don't get a response that you want doesn't mean that you win in a situation like that. Like Yeah, well, it's ultimate trolling and it's stupid because that's essentially saying it doesn't matter the quality of the track, it's about the last person who had the last word. So then at that point, why not and just drop a track where he goes, all right. And yeah. then you still, like, people, and this is what I hate about diss tracks, and this happens in the YouTube community a lot, too. Y'all still have to come to a certain bar. It don't matter if you got the last word or if you got more words than the other person. It still has to reach a certain bar where it registers, where it's like, okay, you pass this round. If if somebody comes at you first and you come second and you lose, the battle can be over there. The battle can be over there. Just because somebody then goes back and makes another track, it doesn't mean that you're obligated to respond, Mike. That's Especially if you smoked them the way that Eminem smoked them in the first round. Like, that don't even make sense. And what I was saying is the reason why, in my other videos, why Eminem should respond is just to put a nail in the coffin, but he really doesn't need to no, respond. He because, need to. Yeah. Because it almost validates, like, like he said something worth responding to. Right. But, like, and I'm then, not mad And then it respond. almost makes it seem like Nick's uh, word holds weight to what he does. Like, you're not going to troll. Like, if. Like, then Nick can be like, yeah, I trolled you into responding. You know what I mean? And that's just not... Well, that's that's the... that's. I mean, that's why diss tracks in general down there be so corny because there's always... It's like whack 100. They're going to try to move the goalpost to find what win they can get out the situation. And cause no matter what, you can say that. No matter what, you can... That is whole corny. But then Nick posted yesterday uh, a picture of a... a Samuel Jackson clutching Leonardo DiCaprio ah, when he died in Django. Yeah. If you don't know that scene, Leonardo DiCaprio, I mean, um, Samuel L. Jackson was playing like the super house N word, the super this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Like doing that. And then uh, when he dies, he loses his mind more than, you know, everybody else. And he said he like, basically wants to die with his master. So. Yeah so crazy that people called other people master that is what even as i as that word left my mouth is just like master. i think that's the first time because every time i hear people talk about slavery they'd be like massa and massa sounds different than master when you say master it's like oh anyway that's weird that's just a random tangent i had but um 50 cents i mean he said at 50 since massa is inca- incapacitated we cordially invite you to come to the show while and now to get his smoke. I feel like 50 would do it. I, I just feel like he would, honestly. Like, I, I would, I, I don't know when, but 50 is that kind of nigga, though. I mean, he literally is a nigga who goes to TRL and goes to ridiculousness and all that kind of stuff. He's probably been on while and out before, if I don't remember. Right. Huh? Right. right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, 50 is the kind of person that, like, I would, I mean... It'd be entertaining, you know, but and I don't know. I'm I don't know though. I don't know how deep rooted the beef is. Pause. I, I just fifties rebuttal. That, Dude, is, that, that is, is, the is the grossest thing I've ever said, bro. How what? deep rooted the beef is. Nah, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Uh, Nick Cannon. Uh, Fifty was off that effing vodka when he wrote his response. I don't know what, bro. Tell me I'm tripping. Tell me I'm tripping and I'm reading this wrong. This is exactly what it says. I'm gonna read it verbatim. Like in my video, I read it like three times, like and almost went cross-eyed. Listen, this is what he said. He goes, "This is the picture of Nick going like this in that bikini." He goes, "Bikini top." He goes, "Nick, like so. That's it, comma. Nobody cares about my diss with one S record. Period." No, nobody cares, LOL. Yeah, what do you mean? 
Explain that to me. He's talking like he's Nick. But why would he be talking like he's Nick? He doesn't say Nick and then like quotation. He doesn't say Nick and then the two dots. It's just Nick. Like he's saying, yeah, like, like mean, he's, he's, I mean, he's talking to Nick. He, the, I don't know, nigga. He probably just not super grammatically correct, but like. But how did I, no, 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 that's not a grammatically correct thing. You wouldn't assume if I said, Monfu, let's kick it. If you read that, like like I said, that is a text or like a post or something, you would read that as what? Me saying, let's kick it to you, right? Yeah. Why would you read that as me saying, Monfu said, let's kick it? Unless I, like, why would that be, when, I don't even see Unless how that Unless it was could, like a picture of me, and then it was like, you know how everybody been doing that shit in the comments where they'd be like, nobody, and then this person, right? But there is a, but that's what I'm saying, that there is a way of, if yeah, you're not doing really it. Execute it well. Nigga, you thinking too much. I don't know. But I'm, I don't think you're thinking enough, because I don't think that that's even You don't step. think I'm thinking enough. I just think that I'm not exactly Because sure. if I posted, hold on, if I posted a picture of you and said, Mofu, let's kick it, you're still reading that as me saying. It wouldn't be reading it as you say, unless I said, like, anyway, that made me. Okay, so even if he's saying that to Nick, right? Mm -hmm. Even if he's saying, he says, like, so that's it. Nobody cares about my diss record. No, nobody cares. Wouldn't he, wouldn't it be nobody cares about my diss record? Question mark. Nobody cares about my diss record. So that's it. Nobody cares about my diss record? Question mark. No, nobody cares. No, nobody cares, LOL. What the hell is that? Nigga. Even if you're talking know. like Nick. What the hell? Dog, he was off that effing. He... Probably. I mean, that made no sense to you me. Probably, and, and, you know how you know how old niggas be texting where they be talking to their phone. <laughs> they be like, go to the park, and then it comes yeah. out. <laughs> he was talking to his phone in the middle of a party, by yeah. So I could pick up two conversations, but yeah, I mean, I don't think this is gonna go anywhere. Honestly, physical or anything. But honestly, I would see that happening with. Eminem. Yeah, that's Eminem what I'm saying. I and, and I even said with that, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Eminem wasn't on that nice guy shit with MGK. Like if Eminem, I feel like if Eminem would have ran into MGK, he probably would have wanted Static. But like with with like M, he's been like lighthearted about this whole situation. I don't think he's like. I think he also takes into consideration Nick's a comedian, and I think yeah. that's another thing people aren't taking into consideration. Like, don't take what he's saying so seriously, because he doesn't. Yeah. At the end of the day, like, he, it's hard to beat somebody like that when they already, that's the same, like, how eight, Eminem won 8 Mile. If you come out, Nick has already came out and clown on his rapping skills so much. So he could almost flip the whole, you're beefing with me as a diss to Eminem. It might be, actually work. He didn't, but. Yeah, right. Real shit, nigga. I agree. Um, I don't know, man. How y'all feel, man? How y'all feel? What you think is going to happen? Y'all think it's going to turn into something? You think 50 going to go to wilding out? You think they should go... Or you think 50 about to wild out, nigga? That's a bar. Y'all can keep that. 